Hello everyone, this is Kelly Beard of KarmicTools.com and this is your weekly forecast for October 20th to the 26th of 2019. So before I dive into our very brief forecast for the week, I want to thank those of you who so generously responded to my survey request last week. I have to say that since I've spent minimal time in corporate America, I had no idea that the word survey turned people off. My husband actually had a visceral reaction when I told him I had created one, and another person said I should never use the term because it does bother some folks. Well, thank God the corporate types are not really into my work, so it's not a big deal because so many of you responded joyfully. And I will remind those of you who may be hesitated, it is a fun survey. I'm not asking tedious data questions. I'm asking about your favorite animals, if and how you commune with your angels and ancestors, and which are your favorite seasons and why. So I encourage anyone that was hesitant but willing to check it out. It is helping me put the final touches on my new website so I can serve you better going forward. And there isn't really an expiration on that. I will leave it up for as long as folks continue to fill it out. But you do get a free three-card reading as a thank you from me. So that could be an incentive, too, if you'd like a simple, quick little message from your own angels, ancestors, and animal guides. I really appreciate those of you who did it already, and thank you in advance for those of you willing to check it out and help me out. I just want to thank you again. So our first activation is October 20th, which is Sunday, Venus sextiling Saturn. And then five days later, she's going to sextile Pluto. So these are opportunities in the transformation department. Saturn and Pluto continue to transform our reality in Capricorn. And right now, while Venus is traversing Scorpio, that is an opportunity to stabilize some soul work that you may have been into recently, uh, at the very least. But for the 20th, this energy has to do with your obligations within the context of relationships. They are not difficult obligations in this case, but more emphasis is placed on really loving to serve those you care about. It is also what I would call the keep it real energy, regarding relationships or finances. Thanks to Saturn, this activation prompts you to clarify what you are building, stabilizing, and fortifying in your relationships and finances especially. I am a total advocate of renegotiating terms as you go along because you evolve, the situation and support around you evolves, and your needs change. So often we have to remind those closest to us. It's really hard to grow to the next level when each person is not clear on their ever-evolving roles and responsibilities. Of course, this starts with you knowing what you do or don't want and what you are or are not willing to compromise about and what you want to create and make real with this one. So this is a powerful activation, like I said, for making things real, beautifying your surroundings. You know, anytime these two are involved, we can get some traction somewhere. Also, on the 21st, which is Monday, Venus is going to try Neptune, which is actually a good one, too. Supportive energy for dreaming your world into being. Allow your imagination some latitude to wander and see where it leads. Play with what-if scenarios. For example, what if all your material needs and desires were taken care of? What would you dedicate your time, energy, and resources to? You may be very empathic and connected to others and what they are going through at this time, so maintain adequate boundaries. Neptune can activate a very spiritual encounter with another human being, whether it's a friend, family, or lover, but only time will tell if it is Neptune playing tricks on you or if it is truly a spiritual connection. So a trine is ease and grace. This is Scorpio to Pisces, so I'm inclined to believe this is actually a little bit more of a good one for our psychic, intuitive capacities. And especially because Mercury is totally in the shadow and going retrograde on Halloween in Scorpio. So that's pretty powerful and potent in and of itself. But this is a great week. These activations can really help us process and integrate a few things. And then on the 25th, which is Friday, we have Venus sextiling Pluto. So this energy deepens all emotions and strengthens bonds and attachments. Friendships and love relationships become much deeper and sometimes more intense, not to mention any physical sexual experiences. Being fake or superficial is never possible when Pluto is involved, and because Venus is involved, we're talking relationships or how you relate in general. So if you're needing to dig a little deeper with someone, you are supported. This energy can facilitate positive transformation in your relationships, partnerships, or collaborations. It will also give you added power to help you change what needs changing or at least get it on the table for a deeper discussion or a clearing conversation. 
Your emotional intensity may be at an unusually high level, so be sure to surround yourself with people who love you unconditionally or try to be alone and just reflect on what you're feeling. So yes, these activations this week can be a little deep. You know, Saturn can sometimes make us serious in some ways, but it does seem like a good energy week. So I hope that you have a great one. Reach out if you need to. Check in. This is a great time as we wrap up the year to check in with your own cycles and patterns or maybe perhaps prepare for 2020, which is going to be a pretty big deal. So I want to thank you again for your time and attention, and have a great week. This is Kelly Beard of karmictools.com, and I am so grateful for your time, energy, and support. Please share this with those you think would resonate and reach out if and when you need to, kelly at karmictools.com. The goal of my weekly forecast is to alert you to the energies and activations that we're all experiencing and the possibilities for conscious co-creation as an individual. Awareness of the energies is the first key, but I invite you to take it to the next level by checking out my readings, telecircles, and subscriptions, which are all geared toward individual support that helps you understand your own unique blueprint. My specialty is cycles and patterns, and I love helping people figure out their own within the context of the social and collective rhythm. To some, working with their own cycles and patterns is a completely new and foreign concept, but there are many planetary cycles that coincide with natural life cycles that allow us to co-create in mystical as well as practical ways. I create custom tools that I have tried and tested myself for over 30 years, and I do the work alongside my circle every time. So I hope you will reach out if you feel called to dive deeper into your own soul's natural rhythm. Talk to you soon. One love.